Grace and peace to each one of you who are gathered here with me today. May you feel the Lord's presence with you today and always. Amen. I'm glad you could join me here today in this new virtual communication, uh, worship, and study. And I think we often find ourselves wrestling with rapid change, and today and these past few days are no different than that as far as wrestling with rapid change. However, it seems to be coming um, quicker and in more intense settings, of course, as we deal with the coronavirus, um, COVID-19. So I imagine that we all have fears and concerns that have been rising up within us, especially as we may encounter different news sources, different statistics, um, and different notifications from medical personnel and the government as far as what necessary restrictions we need to take. And certainly here in Pennsylvania, as we are stepping into another phase of needing to uh, take to seclusion and self-quarantine in order for the health and safety of everyone. More fears can sometimes rise up with these changes. So where do we turn? Where and what do we cling to as we continue to take these necessary precautions? Sometimes it can be difficult. We want to cling to the security we find in material means. And of course, it is important to have sources available to us, those resources that help us maintain our health and well-being during times that are a little more challenging. And so there's also more that we can cling to. And as believers, we know that we can cling to Christ Jesus, that we find hope, love, and compassion in him. We know God's promise is everlasting, that the love shared is beyond anything we might know here on earth otherwise. God's love is divine, and it encounters our broken experience and holds us fast even when we are challenged by the world around us. So in preparing for today, I was initially going to talk with you about the daily readings from the daily lectionary. However, I felt inclined to look for something that talked about hope, that talked about the love we cling to in Christ Jesus. And so after some discussion and some wrestling of my own, um, I came across, thanks to a friend, a great excerpt from one of the Psalms. I have to say, often uh, psalms are a great place to look to for both joy and lament. They are songs that carry through the challenges that others have faced throughout history. So let us look at Psalm 33. And it's on my computer, so I'm going to read it to you. Psalm 33, verse 20 through 22. Our soul waits for the Lord, he is our help and shield. Our heart is glad in him because we trust his holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. Let me read that one more time. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and shield. Our heart is glad in him because we trust in his holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. Just as the psalmist writes, the Lord is our help and shield, and we find hope and love in Christ Jesus. As we continue this Lenten season where we are giving up things, uh, that's a pretty standard practice for Lent, but now in recent times, we are giving up a little more. Maybe we're not leaving our homes as much. Maybe our places of employment have temporarily closed down. So we find ourselves giving up more than maybe we ever anticipated. And with that comes fear, concern, 
Absolutely. And so if we think about what the psalmist had to say there, that God as shield and God is hope. And so we look to Christ to carry us through these trying times, these difficulties, knowing that we can cling to the hope in Christ and that this hope is beyond any challenge we may face. That in the end, we ask for health to be restored and that these trying times cease. And we have that hope that carries us through earthly darkness and troubling times. That Christ promised his redeeming and life-giving love to each and every one of us. We have the hope that cannot be surpassed by the darkness we are encountering. Rather, God's love is great, merciful, and compassionate, and it is always with us. Let us pray. O oh, gracious God, hold us in your arms as we have fears and concerns about the days ahead. Remind us that you are ever present in our lives, that even when troubling times seem unending, that your love is there to carry us through. Give us strength to find our hope in you, Lord, as we are called to look always to you in your redeeming love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you for being with me today. God's peace.